Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Speedrun The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode we made it here to the entrance of the Color Dungeon, a unique dungeon to the uh, DX version of the game. In the original version this, this dungeon was not uh, included. This was obviously to showcase the fact that the DX version was for the Game Boy Color and therefore had colors. So. Um, to start things off, just talk to the right guy, their colors are never the same, blah blah blah, the riddle, basically, they're just asking what color is their clothes, he's red, the other guy is blue, um, sometimes I accidentally mash, and I won't, I'll hit red for this guy, but you want to answer blue for him, and there, we have an entrance to the dungeon, um, so to start things off, put on your sword, charge it up, jump into the center of the room here kill them go to the right there's this this dungeon is really interesting it's not um, it's it's just very interesting it has a lot of unique puzzles because it was made after the game originally came out um, so we kill all these guys come down here um, get this small key jump back up here And now, uh, avoid that hole, jump north through here, hit this once, uh, that twice, get this small key, and here what we're gonna wanna do is equip our powder, our, our fairy powder. Come in here, you cannot skip this text to my knowledge, um, so he says right here the sword is no match for him, so what we wanna do is come sprinkle some powder on him and then just mash mash the uh, powder button and you can grab the fairy if you'd like uh, I don't usually because I usually have a good amount of health because of the new heart container and now we get this boss key uh, oh whoops and you're supposed to save and quit and so now we come back through here I equip my arrows here same deal with this first room kill them in a sword spin uh, 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 sword spin and jump north through this one immediately just start mashing B I just mash B and usually I can kill him before he even hits the ground here uh, next you want to equip the oh not the feather the bow and arrow or my goodness the power bracelet that's what you want to equip next sorry about that so walk through here I usually like killing these guys because they're annoying. Jump on that. And here is one of the more difficult rooms in the game just because it's it's so random. So this one, it's just very difficult to get consistently. See how I, you have to knock all these guys into the holes, uh, into their respective colored holes, and it can just be... that didn't take too long relative to the room. Sometimes that can take forever because you keep knocking them into the wrong holes and stuff like that and it can just be really silly. So anyway, um, next room is right over here. We want to just hit all of the red ones in order. So right, down, left, up. We skip through this room. Uh, equip your bow and arrow again. Shoot this come up here and just immediately start mashing B again when you walk in this room because this guy is very weak to arrows uh, he is color based you just want to get him to the red and boom if you just kind of mash B towards him you should be fine and you should have more than enough arrows to uh, take care of him so we don't have an instrument in this room because it's extra but what we do have is we have two t two colored tunics um, the red tunic basically doubles your attack power, and the blue tunic basically doubles your defensive power. For the sake of speedrunning, for the most part, it's faster to do the red tunic to the blue tunic. There is one situation in the fifth dungeon which is actually quicker to do without the blue, uh, without the red tunic, but um, I'll explain that in a later episode. So all you just do here is you just want to get the red tunic uh, just kinda mash A, the red tunic is the first option 
And usually where I split um, when I'm speedrunning is I split right here when you get it above your head. And then she will warp you to the outside of the dungeon, the outside of the dungeon uh, in the graveyard. And that is the color dungeon. So um, yeah, in the next episode, we will um, we will do a lot more gathering, and we will reach the entrance to the fifth uh, the fifth dungeon in the game. So until next time, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.